Hello everyone. Today's lesson is on uh, document structure. Uh, it's supposed to be the second lesson. Uh, the first lesson is how to do installation uh, of uh, LaTeX in your computer. So uh, this is uh, a tech editor, which I normally use. It's called TechMaker. Uh, so we have the editor part, the part where you do the editing. Uh, if you're using what we call embedded um, uh, output, uh, this is where you get your output. And then we have uh, message log. So message log, this is where you get errors if you encounter some of the errors as you continue working on your document. So once you open TechMaker, uh, you go to this icon here for new document. So you just press on it once and then you have an untitled uh, document. So the first thing that you need to do now when you have the new document is to load what we call a document class. So when you install MeekTech, we have some default classes that are installed uh, these classes uh, include, you can see them here, quick start. So, um, so we have the document classes, which are usually uh, pre-installed, article class. Uh, so this is uh, majorly for writing academic uh, articles. Reports, so when you're writing your uh, research report or thesis, our uh, dissertations are this is what to use a uh, letter is self-explanatory book the same bima is a presentation uh, so the uh, this is for bima uh, for presentation when you're preparing a, a presentation so you use bima we may tackle a bit of it um, so we are going to stick with article. So this, what you're loading here is just a quick start. But um, if you're learning this to do some examination, I would not advise you to do this. So A4 paper is the default paper. Um, encoding is not very important for now. Uh, and then we have several uh, packages. So I'm not going to use that uh, a quick step. So I'm going to start by loading the document class. I'm going to use a 12PT. I'm going to use a for paper. And then I'm going to use article. And then we have a begin and end document. So this is the first thing um, first environment that you're going to encounter, it's document. Anything that comes with begin and end something, that something is called uh, an environment. And anything that starts with a, um, a, a what, a backslash, uh, that is a command. So this is a command, backslash begin. So begin is a command with one argument. So anything that comes in between this uh, braces is the arguments, the number of arguments. Uh, this one is also another command as you can see, and um, as one argument, and these are called options. So what comes in between uh, square brackets are the options. Now, here, before begin document and after document class, this is called the preamble. So this is the preamble. Uh, we normally use preamble to uh, load the packages. Uh, we also use them to write the top matter. I'm going to give an example of how we load packages. We say use package. So we have some packages that have options and some other packages 
that do not have options. So for now, let's work with a package without um, uh, an option. So let's do arms math. So this is uh, for uh, mathematic mathematicians mostly. You can load other packages here, like arms font, uh, arms simp. So those are basic uh, mathematics uh, packages. So you can load them all together or you can load them separately, like uh, use another package here, arms fonts. Uh, but once you do that, so this percentage I'm using here is for comments. So anything that comes up, the percentage is not seen by LaTeX as part of the document. Uh, so you can use them one by one, or you can use them in one line. I prefer using them in one line uh, if they have no options. And then we have what we call the top matter. Uh, the first thing I'm going to, uh, uh, to, to mention here is the title. So if you're writing an article, it must have a title. So, so I may just, let me call it something like uh, my first LaTeX class. Uh, so, um, so this LaTeX is a command. And one thing about uh, LaTeX commands is that they are case sensitive. So LaTeX has to be written in that manner. Otherwise you're going to get an error of uncontrolled, uh, undefined control sequence. Uh, so you'll see that. Uh, alpha, I'm going to say Donning. And then um, anything else? So I'm going to use double backslash. I can use double backslash to say end of that first line. I can say Marcelo University, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So depending on how many lines I want to to write down there. Uh, so after you prepare that top matter here, you after you begin the document, you say make title. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have, but we need to save fast. There is a save icon here. Just click on it. Okay, so I have uh, MIT 4.3. Class, uh, so I should create. It's usually advised to create a folder for every document that you're trying to um, to create. So first class, and then I'm going to save it as first class. So it's usually saved as .tex when you, you leave it that way. We have .bib. .bib is for bibliography. We will get there. .sty are for style files. So what we were loading here as packages uh, is usually... Um, um, so the packages, uh, we usually have like this Armsmoth. There is a .sty armsmath.sty somewhere in your computer. Uh, and for every package, we have that file. So when you install a package, then that file is uh, stored in your, your computer. We have .class.cls, which is for class files. Also, we have uh, article.cls. Uh, which are for class and then we have many more others. These others are not important for now. 
So we're going to go ahead and save it as fastclass.tex, which is by default. So when I write fastclass, it just saves fastclass.tex. Okay, so uh, let's try to run it. This is where you run it, quick build. When this is different from quick build, then try to return it back to quick build. It may be bibtech, pdf, latex, whatever it is, but let's uh, stick with quick build. So the quick build is already defined somewhere here uh, where we have, this is the quick build commands. So this is what happens when you click quick build. We have the PDF LaTeX, uh, which is um, in MicTech. Eh? So this goes in the background to MicTech, does the thing, and then we view PDF. Uh, so let me press it and see what happens here. Yes, so this is the uh, top matter. As you can see, we have my first LaTeX class, Johnny Munyao Masen University. The date is also given by default, but if you don't want the date, you can always use the command date. Or if you want to customize your date, the way dates are written. So, well, it's empty, then you're not going to get uh, the dates. The dates here will not uh, be visible. As you can see, the date has disappeared. You can write it your own way. Uh, today is uh, 12, 5, 2021. 20, so that's just a customized uh, date. So that is the way they will appear. Uh, but in most cases, we do not need date. Okay, so let's go to the uh, starting of the document. Uh, if you're writing an article, then you need to have what we call an abstract. So we have an uh, environment called abstract where you write your abstract. So let me just write something. This is Introduction to LaTeX. I am excited to So let's assume that's our abstract. Uh, after abstract, then we can have our first section. So one of the major differences between a, a report and an article is that in a, an article, we do not have chapters, we have sections. So when you use chapter, you're going to get an error. Uh, which is uncontrol undefined control sequence, um, which simply means that this uh, command chapter is not defined. And it's true in the um, article class, the chapter uh, command is not defined. So we can't use a chapter. So we use, we use a section Uh, first section. So you don't need to do the numbering as the numbering are usually done automatically. Okay, so after section we have uh, what we call a subsection. Um, subsection our first subsection. So this is the first subsection in section one. 
we also have a um, sub subsection subsection etc etc okay we also have subsection but uh, star section star subsection star and when you have a section star or subsection star or sub subsection star it means um is it non numbered or whatever they are not numbered the sections will not be numbered so this section is not numbered uh, so let's see what we have So as you can see, this section here is not numbered because we've used section star. Uh, this is our first section. This is our first section and then our first subsection. As you can see, the abstract is up here. And this is the top matter, all on the same page. Now you will see the difference uh, when we change that to a report. It's going to be very different as um, that what we call the top matter is now going to be um is going is yeah the top matter which is the title and author is going to be on its title page uh, here we have a section on top which is uh, set for title and whatever so now let's see what happens when we change that to uh, section and then let me just use a chapter here and you see that it will work. Chapter works. So this is a trial chapter. So let's see what happens when we run this. Okay. So see happens we have the title page this is independent on its own page we have abstract on its own page and then we have the first chapter on its own page so each chapter begins a new page so let's see that we can just include a second chapter somewhere chapter uh, this is number two the second chapter begins on a new page uh, let's see what we have so you can see this is uh, page two which is chapter two page one is chapter one and so on and so forth now at some point you might need to have what we call a um, table of contents table of contents so here we are going to have a command table of contents just that command will generate automatically at the table of contents uh, so i'm putting it after uh, abstract so let's see what we have. Um, I must run twice if I'm not forgetting. Yeah. So at first you don't see anything. So you need uh, the PDF uh, LaTeX to run twice so that it can generate uh, the contents. Yeah. So at first it doesn't work, but then here you have what we call uh, contents and then so it's generated automatically. You don't need to do anything. Just use the command uh, table of contents. So I think that will be all for now. Uh, see you next time.